Hello, welcome to another video. This is your full moon reading. Now it's the flower moon that's going to be on the 5th of May. Okay, uh, we're going to see uh, what energies are around, uh, what messages we've got for everyone. And then I will probably do a card for each sign and we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, uh, right. What do you want me to start with, Spirit? Okay, these ones. Okay, so if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And uh, please bear in mind that this is a general tarot reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone, despite what some people think. It's not going to. Okay, uh, take what does and dump the rest. Okay, um, please bear in mind that I read the tarot cards intuitively. I channel messages direct from spirit and the cards are an illustration of that. I'm said already um, in this room because of my son commandeering the lounge to do his final essays for his MA. Uh, I've tried to start this video a couple of times so I can't remember if I've said that already or not. Please forgive me if I have. Um, yeah, so if you watch the channel, this is why I get haunted at night by all those spirits. And the men in black. Okay, the shadows. Right, let's see what we've got. Oh, something's ending. Ten of swords. This is quite a painful ending. And I think I get an impression of the moon um, being really swollen with something. So much so that uh, this is the energy I'm getting, that we have to dump a few things, get rid of a few things that are... Um, Making us swollen, affecting our health, uh, affecting uh, our mental health in particular, physical health as well, mental health, all patterns, thoughts, ideas that need to go, things in our lives, toxic things, friends, people, substances, uh, whatever it is, needs to go. Oh, somebody's got a wheat allergy. Um, I'm just picking up. It needs to go. You need to stop eating so much wheat. I don't know where that's gone from. <laughs> I would have thought it was for me, but if you're um, a regular at this channel, and thank you if you are for coming back, I really appreciate it. Uh, you will know that my, everything I eat is regulated by my guides and shadow men. So, what else we got? Yeah, eight swords. It's like somebody's getting um, pain from something they're doing, eating uh the wrong things uh, and this is not about um putting weight on anything like that this is about having discomfort colitis um wheat allergies things like that we need to look at what we are eating that's made, making us swollen uh that we need to get rid of that we can improve things with obviously you know if you have a problem like that go and get it checked out by a doctor because i'm not a doctor here um but, and then there are a lot of situations that need to end that are making our mental health. It's like our minds are swollen with too many thoughts, too many toxic thoughts. It's almost like, um, they're reminding me, uh, do you know those patches that you can put on your feet to draw out toxins? Well, I have a friend, uh, a spiritual friend who, uh, when she and, uh, and I and another friend got together, once for a few drinks, she um, coin. Oh, she'd gone for something. She'd gone from a pro proper detoxifying um, place. I was talking about these patches, but she'd gone to this place where they draw they draw out the impurities, and they give give you something to take as well. I can't remember what it was, but basically, she started to feel really ill, and um, that person said. <laughs> That she'd basically detox so much uh, because she had so many awful things that she had to get rid of from her habits of eating or whatever she was doing. Um, she'd gone into a full detox and it was making her ill and she basically, she had so much to get rid of. And then she talked about these uh, pads on the, the feet as the boots of shame because it draws out all the toxins, all the naughty, you know drinks you've had anything like that you know um 
uh, if you've been having dr drinkies over the weekend or whatever, <laughs> you call them the boots of shame. And it's all, it's detoxifying. That's what I'm getting really strongly. So some of us, including me, need to wear the boots of shame and um, get those toxins out. It's all about thoughts as well, though. Thoughts about the self. It all needs to come to an end. It's going to come to a painful end because I think something's going to be brought in in the few days before the moon um, that really brings the situation and how you're thinking about yourself and what you're doing in your life uh, to a head. It's going to uh, it's going to be a situation. It's going to be an email. It's going to be a suggestion. It's somebody's going to say something. You're going to suddenly see something or something affects you that is going to bring it. I need to do this and let it go on the full moon. Um, recharge the batteries, get going, uh, fresh start, start the, the year from there. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, King of Swords. It's cutting things out. Uh, they're going to be, uh, somebody's going to say something to you uh, that makes you realise that you've got to get rid of something. Um or someone from your life they're going to show exactly who they are how cutting they are how um nasty they are in some cases so there, there's a lot to go through but the you know it's all in your hands you can walk away from this situation you can change this situation you can oh it's, it's very exciting you can begin again you can change your life it's all in your hands i'm all about self-empowerment and this is walking away. You, she can get out of there dead easy. Yeah. Walk away. Just walk away. Stop hiding. Hiding from it. It's Some of you don't want to face what's been staring you in the face, if you like. And I know I've just had a very similar experience. And it needs to end. You need to let this go. I don't care how important you viewed it in the past. It needs to go. It's toxic. It's broken down. It. You've been getting signs and reminders. Um, the it, some of you need to move from where you're living. Things like that. Um, that it's breaking down. It's to toxic. The people who were once friendly are not are not friendly a anymore. Um, things are happening to make you feel uncomfortable, and that spirit moving you on. Okay. Yeah. Deceit. Deceiving yourself. Um, seven of swords yeah uh, somebody is deceiving you and that is going to come out in the, in the few days it it's going to cause this um anxiety frustration ah uh, it's something's going to be brought to a head let it go on the full moon and you can start again okay it's almost like everything will shrink back all those thoughts all that swollen stomach ibs that kind of thing is all caused by toxic thoughts rather than actual food in some cases um other cases you, you can try and control it with food but it's actually thoughts in your head that are controlling anxiety over breathing because of what is going on around you it's time for you to put an end to it Okay, what else can we get? Let's have an oracle card for that. And then we'll go into the signs. Yeah, somebody's going to cause chaos around you, a harpy. Somebody's going to say something that you don't like, but it's going to be thankful for it. And I, I have a hard time seeing things like this because of, of that attitude to me just doesn't wash all the time. But... I had a situation happen to me where somebody said something to me today that made me flip my lid because I realised that everything I thought, um, I, I expected something different. I expected this person to be different, but they didn't. They've never learnt. See, they've never learnt from their, um, what they did. They can't see. Some people are just lost. Let them get on with it. Karma will come in. Justice will come in. You can't do anything about it. They're going to say something to you and you're going to realise, I can't take this any further with you. I've done everything I can and you have gone against me. Uh, you just won't meet me halfway. And that's when you're going to realise this is the cut-off point. This is where you draw your line in the sand and you step back and you go your way and you live your life. Some of you are walking away from family members, from all sorts. Uh, never the twins shall meet, okay? My guide told me that uh, about one of my family members 
recently and I'm getting this same energy because I've had to come on here and give this message which is really interesting so a lot of you are going to see that and you're going to see that your health will improve whatever the situation is things will improve for you uh your life will improve once you realize you can't go any further with this and you have to back away stop making yourself a martyr stop sacrificing yourself you can do this okay let's um get a, a couple of cards for each sign so we'll start with aries Ooh, working hard seven of wands yeah a lot more work to go on uh it's not over yet uh keep planting those seeds uh let go of all the crap in your life that's uh being coming something's ending obviously uh keep planting the seeds you've got to have to put more work in than you thought but it's going to be worth it stay focused and on target okay i'm being told one card Aries, taurus yeah knight of swords somebody's coming in with harsh words definitely uh they're uh, rushing in they they're not thinking uh it is gonna hurt end it walk away you can walk away from this situation and build a better life for yourself uh definitely i'm getting travel as well some of you uh will be traveling in the next few weeks um some of you are going to be very angry at what said you will react uh, but it's not going to get you very far it's only going to hurt you uh, step back uh, ride that horse off into your travels and what you really want to do in your life it's time to move on okay you can't do any more you will react though because they've pushed you too far take a deep breath say what you have to say step out of the situation and shut that door and don't go back to it okay Aquarius uh, lots of different options coming up for you you've walked away from something uh now which um option do you want to choose for work uh as some of you got relationships on offer which way do you want to go which direction do you want to go some of you are making life choices as well whether you want to travel or get married uh, some of you are choosing whether or not to walk away from a partner because they don't want the same things for you or looking at where you can compromise uh don't sacrifice you have to be straight up and you are honest in communication to this person if you want to stay with them great but you will have to compromise if you can't do that have the courage to say walk away and end so that person can find another suitable relationship and you can get what you want harsh but true okay where are we aquarius what um pisces i'm being told now Got that one no, uh, lots of fears and doubts about moving forward. I've got 1313 on the clock. You want to look up that angel number. Big change coming in for you. Uh, you are over time from where you are. You should have moved. Some of you are moving uh, destinations. Uh, some of you are moving abroad. And uh, some of you have got some toxic behaviours that you do need to get rid of. One of them is self-doubt in particular. You need to cultivate self-belief and stop listening to naysayers. And those irritating toxic people in your ears, get rid of those toxic people. Okay, Cancer. Oh, wish coming in. Definite wish coming in. Be careful what you wish for though. A relationship is definitely coming in. Uh, business relationship but i'm getting more love relationship here make sure it's what you want are you sure this is what you want it's almost like you've been trying to manifest this and once you get it you're not quite sure remember stand up for the self and move forward if it's not what you want don't keep the person hanging on there's something about a text and phone call um tell them what you really want because they've already got suspicions okay and you can't do that to them or yourself Uh, where are we Pisces uh what do you want me to do next Scorpio feeling out in the cold five of coins uh five of pentacles uh the money will come in uh cultivate some self-belief you feel like it's your winter time um some of you uh, are in the winter time in the southern hemisphere um well autumn but 
the back end of the year is what I'm getting. Uh, follow your star. See the star here? You can do it. You feel like you're being pushed out into the cold, uh, Scorpio. Um, some of you are not gelling with the people at work, around you, work colleagues. You're not fitting into the group. It's That's uh, a big uh, no-no. You need to get out. Uh, find something else. You Again, eh, you know, end. If it's safe to do so, end it. Move on. Somebody's. I'm getting this harpy card back for you. Somebody's causing chaos at work, gossip, uh, making you feel left out in the cold. Some of you are feeling left out in the cold because you don't fit into your church because you're. Um, I don't know if you're. But, um, I'm getting gay here or or whatever. Uh, well, this is not for you, is it? Find your tribe. Find you know. Find people who uh, are your tribe you know good people uh not people who deny you or you have to keep things secret from and you feel out in the cold some of you need to talk to people about how you're feeling about yourself as well in which direction you need to go in uh, get help please okay and that that's for a lot of situations there mental health in particular people are not um getting what they need and some of you uh, need to use your intuition and downloads. Um, some of you are getting, this is Scorpio, you're getting um, a lot of intuition and downloads. Uh, your guides are trying to help you um, get help and to see who you really are, not who you think you should be, or should be okay, to fit in. Uh, oh, my goodness, why I got Neptune in my head? Neptune energy. I'm not... Um, not sure what that is. Uh, maybe relevant to somebody. Um, off a kiss. Okay. Knight of Wands. Oh, you're rushing in faster somewhere. Be careful. Uh, harsh words. The words aren't going to get you very far. They're not going to change the situation. The line must be drawn in the sand. You need to step back now. This is a family situation. Uh, it's going to do more harm than good if you speak out. Um, they're not going to listen to you. Narcissism here, okay? Walk away and save yourself. <laughs> Being in that type of relationship, save yourself. Okay. Um, Capricorn. Some of you on two minds. Look straight ahead, look square at the situation. You can change this. Look at the moon. Things are going to change as the moon waxes. Um, it's like you feel as if you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Stop trying to impress somebody else. This is about you. Open your eyes and look squarely. Uh, when I see this card, I normally um, see that this answer is looking... Is straight in front of you rather than at either side. There's a third way. There's a, a way you haven't looked at. You could even merge these two um, different ways and make one. Uh, it's looking at you. you. You feel it's too dangerous. You need to take a risk. You need to move forward. Okay. And stop listening to the uh, dodgy opinions around you. Have the courage to listen to your own intuition and to the downloads you are receiving. You are being guided at this time. Okay, I'm going to lose where, <laughs> wherever I'm at. Uh, Who have we got now? Aquarius. Leo. Each one's lots of movement, lots of messages coming in. Uh, somebody's put their CV out, their resume. You're going to get... Um, Lots of letters coming back, lots of offers, lots of opportunity coming towards you. Uh, be careful what you wish for. There is one that is more attractive than the others and uh, you know which one it is, but you're looking at the other ones because some of them uh, have more money. But once you get into this job, there are other doors that will open and you can uh, make your way. This may lead to self-employment, self-business or working in partnerships with people and more money in the long run. OK, again, uh, you have to walk away from something to get this. OK. Leo and what else have we got? I'm trying to think of where we are. Are you going to tell me? I'm not telling me where I've got to go. 
go next? Jupiter. I'm getting more about planets now. Jupiter. I'm getting a channel messages. Jupiter, life on Mars. I, I don't know if that's relevant to somebody. Uh, my goodness. I don't know if they're the only messages I'm getting for those signs. Are you going to give me any more? Oh, no, I'm getting no more messages. Just for those. Okay, well, let's finish off then. Uh, what would you like to finish off with? Mm -hmm. You have to be in this energy, the Queen of Swords. Okay, the Queen of Swords is uh, discerning. She is in control. She's independent. She does not have to be male. Uh, male? Female. <laughs> she can be male. This is just, you know, uh, my readings are, are non-gender specific. But she protects herself well. Okay, and um, is very intelligent. She forges new ways. She has lots of knowledge and she can take care of herself. And that's what the Spirit is asking you to do, uh, to let go of uh, satisfying other people's wishes and needs above your own. Some self-care here, some discerning, some sharp, um, sharp look at... Uh, it's almost like your eyesight has to be sharp. Your mental clarity has to be sharp to see through these illusions and the backstabbing and everything that's been going on. It's almost like you've been hiding your true thoughts about what's been going on. It's, you know, it's coming back. You've been deceiving yourself about these people around you, about situations. People have been getting more out of them than you have, more getting more out of you than you have. OK, so it's time to end all this calamity I'm being told around you and actually come out of your um, comfort zone. It's almost like it's being comf comfortable, um, just ignoring it. They want you to step outside and actually stop being more discerning. Be the, look, you've got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, um, that energy, that straight down the line, this is where it is. This is the line I draw in the sand. Um, I can see everything clearly now and um, no more. Don't, I'm not letting emotion get in the way. I'm allowing my mental clarity to uh, assess the situation and help me to move forward. Okay, I, oh, I've got an angel card here. Yeah. And communicate this to other people who have been taken advantage of you. I've got the honesty and communication card. Stop hiding, move forward and believe in yourself. Okay, take care and I shall see you next time. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe. If you'd like a reading with me, I do angel life path readings. I do tarot readings. I do all sorts of healing, life coaching, you know, angel life path coaching, I call it. If you want to, um, you know, work with me that way contact me on my email you can take a look at my website all the details are in the description you can join this channel for extra perks exclusive videos i'm also going to be doing my first live on wednesday where i'll be getting some messages for people and discussing some of the world channeled messages i get and all sorts of other things so that's at six o'clock on wednesday you need to join either the centaurus or orion memberships uh, to get on that live okay and uh yeah i think that's it please like share subscribe thank you for watching take care bye